Hello students this is OP Rai and today I am going to explain to you yet another lesson from class 12th English book Flamingo The name of the lesson is Going Places written by AR Barton Let's get started by getting to know something about the author briefly AR Barton is a modern English writer who has written many literary pieces depicting contemporary problems and issues. He was born on 17th December 1913 in London, United Kingdom and died on 4th April 1943. His contribution to the field of literature is immense and his stories are thought-provoking and inspirational. theme of the story This is a story of a teenage girl and her fantasies her escapism made her a dreamer and gradually pushed her into fantasies which provide glamour wealth and fame she was a compulsive liar with great ambitions once she lied to her brother father and friends that she met Danny Casey a famous irish footballer She lied to seek refuge in this fantasy but no one took it very seriously. Towards the end of the story, this teenage girl Sophie, obsessed with the lie, becomes the victim of her own lie. She believed in a lie so compulsively that she even waited for Danny Casey in the park. Characters. There are four main characters in the story. Sophie the protagonist Jancy Sophie's friend Geoff Sophie's brother and Sophie's father Let's begin with Sophie Sophie is a middle class teenage girl with romantic temperament She is a habitual dreamer and escapist and always fantasizes about doing big things and living in a self created space away from the real and practical world she is a big fan of irish footballer danny casey and romanticizes with him as her lover she confides the encounter between danny and herself with her brother geoff and adds minutes detail to it to make it sound convincing she is super obsessed with danny casey and imagines a secret meeting with him in the park purely based on her fantasies sophie hero worships danny jancy jancy is a close friend of sophie though both belong to lower middle class family and are school going girls they are different from each other in so many different ways jancy is practical sensible down to earth sort of girl Unlike her friend Sophie, she is simple and sets practical and attainable goals for herself. Like a true friend, Jancy always discourages Sophie from having wild and illogical dreams. She reasons out with Sophie whenever she is drifted in a romantic world, riding fanciful ideas and setting illogical goals for herself. However, she seems to be gossipy and can hardly keep a secret so she feels that she would spread the news of her meeting with Danny Casey in the neighborhood Geoff Geoff is the brother of Sophie he no longer pursues his studies and is 3 years out of the school he is an apprentice mechanic and man of few words He has quite practical approach towards life and doesn't entertain fanciful dreams and unpropositioned aspirations. He appears to be introvert, self-occupied, reserved and absorbed in his own world. Even Sophie longs to be taken in his brother's world as she finds his temperament intriguing. Geoff is an ardent fan of football game. and Danny Casey he watches him play and is impressed with his skill sets and dexterity he's tall dark and handsome but doesn't bother himself about it 
Sophie's father. Sophie's father is a plump, fat, hard-working man. However, he has failed to earn enough to provide comfort to his children. He shares the struggles of typical middle class and has practical approach towards life. He is a family man but little rough and coarse in manners. He is aware of Sophie's dreams and fantasies and therefore outrightly and sternly rebuffs the possibility of a meeting with Danny Cassie. He refuses to pay heed to any of the stories of Sophie. Moreover, he too loves the game of football and adores this Irish sensation Danny Casey. Hence, he along with his family goes to stadium to watch United play. Summary of the story. Sophie and Jancy are very good friends. Jancy being practical says that after school they will have to find work in a biscuit factory. Whereas Sophie fantasizes that she would open a boutique of her own. Sophie had the habit of fantasizing all her activities. So one day she told her brother Geoff that she had met Danny Casey, an Irish soccer prodigy. She said this to draw the attention of her brother. Her friend Jancy doesn't know that she is in the habit of dreaming and fantasizing. However, her father is aware of this and rebuffs her theatrics. He is a man from humble status, hence doesn't believe her story as told by Geoff. He feels that this is also one of her wild stories, which means she is habitual of narrating fantasies. Sophie, a middle class girl. Sophie belonged to the lower middle class and following are the indicators of her family's financial status. To begin with, her father is a physical worker. Her friend Jancy says Sophie will have to join the biscuit factory after school. When Sophie enters her house, she sees her mother stooping over the sink. The small room where Sophie lives is filled with steam emitting from the stove. The dirty clothes are piled up in the corner. Her brother Geoff was an apprentice mechanic. Her little brother's shoes lies on the sofa. She and her family travel by bus to watch the match. Sophie tells a lie. After an interval, Sophie comes with another sophisticated lie. She tells that she had met Danny Casey, a popular Irish footballer, now a distraction for the English shoot. As usual, she made her brother Geoff believe this story as he is the first one she shares her secrets with. She told her brother that she had a meeting with Danny Casey and confides that she had few words exchanged with the celebrity as well. Geoff took this story of Sophie's meeting with Danny to their father but he instantly disregards and rebuffs it as another silly lie of hers. Sophie was infamous for her lies. The lie spreads. Geoff further told this story about Sophie's meeting with Danny to his friends proudly and people started questioning about Sophie's relationship with their hero Danny Casey. They were also told that Sophie was to meet Danny in a park on a certain day. Days passed and everyone forgot Sophie and her Casey. By this time, the effect of telling the lie continuously made Sophie believe in her own lie and she couldn't think of it in clear lights. In a way, she became the victim of her own lies. To and from the park the Saturday on which Sophie was to meet Casey arrived. Sophie found herself walking to the park to meet Danny Casey. She sat there on a bench and began waiting for Casey's coming. Sophie's anxiousness and excitement gave way to doubts. 
minutes ticked away but Danny did not come she grew sad and skeptic and then she thought other way and realized that it was all a fantasy a lie she saw now how big a burden it was for her to put herself in such a situation it was difficult for her to come to terms with reality however she rose pained disappointed and walked back on to a new fantasy she could not live with her disappointments as she was climbing up the crumbling steps out of the park she weaved her fantasy of meeting with danny in a bolder version she visualized herself beautiful with a mesmerizing effect on boys and as she addressed danny outside roy's window he blushed and stammered suddenly she grew up flirted with him in this fantasy letting his eyes roam over her a bit to look back and find him breathless it was a way of getting out of disappointment convincing herself that danny was ordinary looking with freckled nose and teeth with gaps and it was rather other way round he was enchanted by her charm not she thus she got out of earlier disappointment with this new fantasy of being bold and beautiful to seek refuge in obsession till she needs a new fantasy social message the lesson going places explores the subject of fantasizing and hero worshiping the stories about unrealistic dreams and such dreams have little possibility of coming true this is when gloom and disappointment enter into life and wreck it sometimes beyond repair hence people especially adults and children should not feed upon impractical unreasonable fantasies as it often ends up causing hurt and grief it is okay to dream but within limit as it becomes more of an obsession when dream turned fantasies involve idols of opposite sex because in obsessive teenagers it brings in a desire of longing further aggravating their condition dear students following are the questions to assess your learning and understanding of the lesson try and answer these questions for concrete comprehension <music>